So those of you who live in England will know that at the moment the model steam engine hobby is going through a bit of a crisis because the British government have made solid fuel tablets illegal. That's because of a chemical that's made in them called hexamine, which is now being classed as a poisonous explosive apparently. Even though I've been using them for years and I've never had one explode or poison me. But you know, that it's that's that. So Manworth had a bit of a crisis and they didn't really know what to do. So what they've done, they've engineered a new fuel. And I've actually got some of it here, which I'm going to have a look at and see how well it can steam my Manworth Miner too. So this is the new fuel. What it is, it's gel. So it's like a paste. And you can buy them in 50 milliliter and 250 milliliter packets. This is a 250 milliliter. Cost me about 13 pounds. So it retails for about the same price as sort of fuel tablet does. See, there's some information on the back here of it. I'm going to leave this on screen here and you feel free to pause it and have a read of it. As you can see, they have mentioned that it is labelled as not dangerous according to the CLP regulation of 2008. But first thing we do, I'm going to put a tiny bit on my spirit burner tap here and see how well it burns. So first thing I've got to do is take the cap off like that and then I believe I just pour some into here. Oh, there it is. A lot more runny than I thought it would be. Tighten that up and then I'll give it a light. So I've turned the light off so you can see what the flame's like. Just got a little bit here. We're gonna light it and see what it's like. That, that's lit. It's a nice blue flame like my fated spirits. So, wow, wow, that's making a lot of heat actually. That's certainly making more heat than a fuel tablet does. Yeah, because it is a gel, it's starting to boil actually. But that's, that's not a problem. Yeah, I'm going to put it on time lapse and we're going to see how long it lasts for. So the fuel did actually burn for quite a while. I was very surprised and pleased to see that it's actually low odour, you can barely smell it, no smoke. I'm really impressed by it. So now let's take the Mammoth Miner 2 outside and give it a steam. Okay, so now it's time to see how the fuel will cope with running a small steam engine. Now it gave off plenty of heat before, so I've got no doubt that it won't run it. Now what I'm gonna do is on my other video where I steamed the MM2, I used warm water. I'm going to use very cold water for this to see if it can cope with it, which I'm sure it will do. But without further ado, I will fill the boiler up. So now we're going to put the fuel into the burner. So I'm just going to put a, a small strip on the burner because I can always put some more on later if it needs it. Right, that's, that looks quite good. We'll see, see how long that lasts us. I'll just put the put it go away wasp. Put that there and then put it in a bit further. And I will get it lit now.
Is that lit now or? Can't feel any heat. I think that's lit now. Yes, that's lit now. So now, let's just wait for it to build some steam up. So now, of course, we need to lubricate the engine. And now it's with some steam to build. Just like the steaming yesterday, there is some smoke coming from it, but that's just from some oil residue on the boiler. No, nothing to worry about there. Let's wait for it to build some pressure. Not quite there yet. So the piston is trying to push a bit, you can see you can see that there. I can feel resistance when I bring it back, but it's not enough to not quite enough to make it go yet. So we'll give it a few more minutes. The fire actually smells a lot like a method of spirit fire, which is quite nice. So there had a bit of steam there, but not a lot, not enough to run the engine yet. But you can hear the boiler so come up to temperature now. So, I am very impressed with how the engine steamed on the gel, considering I did it from cold. The engine didn't run massively well itself, plus because I think I put too much water in and it started priming and there was water in the piston. But, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to test another engine on the gel in the next video. And it's an engine that you haven't seen on this channel before. It's a new Kenneth Wells traction engine I've got. So, I hope you enjoy that. So, I hope you'll see in that video. Thanks for watching.